I'm sure you know that monitors come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, but you might not know that there are a bunch of different types of panels, starting from the bulky CRTs of the past, all the way up to the expensive and cutting edge OLEDs of the future. But the most common panel type and the one that has been dominating the market for years is the LCD panel or liquid crystal display. But even LCD monitors have multiple different panel types associated with the name LCD. The three most common of these are TN, IPS, and VA. And although looking at specs like resolution and refresh rates are important, knowing the pros and cons of each of the three main panel types will help you make a better decision when you choose your next monitor. <laughs> My name is Josh from Viotech, and today, not only will we go over the three main panel types that we sell here at Viotech, but we'll also explain to you the steps we've taken to ensure that our panels don't fall into the same pitfalls that other similar panels do. As you can see, we have one example from our collection of each of the three main panel types. For TN or Twist Pneumatic, we have the newly released Viotech GFT27CXB. For IPS or in-plane switching, we have our RFI25 CBA or the Reaper. And for VA or vertical alignment, we have our massive SUW49CB. All these monitors are great picks, but certain panel types and in turn certain monitors are better for certain use cases than others. And it's all about figuring out which is the best fit for you. Let's start off with the TN or or twisted pneumatic panel. This was the first panel type to be widespread since it's much cheaper to produce. The three main pros are that they're inexpensive, have low input lag, and can support fast refresh rates without breaking the bank. Our GFT 27 CXB can go all the way up to 240 hertz. Sounds awesome, right? Well, the biggest deterrence of most TN panels is their notorious lack of color range and lack of viewing angles. Fortunately for those who care about colors, the Viotech GFT27CBXA has been designed to do what other TN panels cannot. It actually covers 99% of the sRGB color gamut, making colors rich and vibrant when viewed head on. It's also fully customizable with three different color profiles you can save. And to get around that poor viewing angle, we've added a fully adjustable monitor stand right in the box. It also comes with all the hardware necessary for VESA mounting. So if you have your own stand already, worry not. Now, it should be said that this is not the norm for most other TN panels out there. If you go with any other brand's TN panels, you should expect poor color quality and poor viewing angles. So hopefully you don't care about colors and expect to buy a better stand unless the one that comes with it has a lot of adjustability. So who's this panel for? TN panels are perfect for the competitive gamer on a budget. If you care about fast reaction times and wanna save some money so you can actually afford a graphics card that can reach 240 hertz, this is the panel type for you. However, if rich colors or that viewing angle is important to you for either relaxed couch co-op gaming, watching movies, or creative work, then you might wanna go with our next panel type, the IPS panel or in-plane switching. IPS or in-plane switching monitors are almost the exact opposite of TN panels. They offer much wider viewing angles as well as better blacks and color reproduction. The trade-off is that they're much more expensive, especially if you're looking to get frame rates of 200 to 240 hertz. You can expect to pay more than $500 for an IPS capable of that or an IPS with one millisecond response time. So if you're looking for a more budget-friendly IPS because you mainly play single-player games or couch co-op, then you'll probably have to settle for a response time of around four milliseconds or slower. And although IPS panels are no for deeper blacks and richer colors, be wary because a lot of IPS panels commonly have the issue of the backlight leaking through. Our RFI 25 CBA is the exception. It's been engineered to reduce the amount of backlight bleed through on its IPS panel. 
The monitor also features an MPRT mode or motion picture response time mode. This helps produce extremely clear moving pictures with excellent color while significantly reducing backlight issues. So if you are willing to put up the money for a better viewing experience or you need that color accuracy for creative work or super cinematic single player gaming experiences, then the IPS is the right fit for you. But be wary of that backlight issue and make sure to either see it in person or look up reviews to make sure you're getting what you pay for. But if both of those sound good to you and you want maybe something in the middle, look no further than the VA panel. VA or vertical alignment panels are somewhere in between TN and IPS offering the best of both worlds. This panel type is very common in TVs, but is relatively uncommon for gaming monitors. VA panels offer very good contrast ratios, so you can expect vibrant colors and good color reproduction. And although brightness may vary depending on the angle you're viewing the screen from, they're not susceptible to the backlight issues of IPS panels. However, the downside of VA panels is that they have slower response times. And although newer models have higher refresh rates, the slow response time means you may see ghosting or motion blur in fast-paced competitive games. Fortunately for all Viotech monitors, like the SUW49C here, they come with Adaptive Sync, which if you don't know what that is, it means it comes with AMD FreeSync and Nvidia G-Sync ready. Adaptive Sync eliminates image distortion, like tearing, stuttering, ghosting, and other glitches that can happen if the monitor's refresh rate doesn't match the frame rate of the monitor's GPU. So if you are looking into a VA panel, make sure that it's either G-Sync or FreeSync compatible based on your specific specific needs. So let's recap. TN panels are great for competitive gamers on a budget who just wants to put their money into the fastest refresh rate and response times possible. If that sounds good to you, make sure to pay attention to the color specs as certain TN panels are better than others in that regard. Also, make sure that it comes with a fully adjustable monitor stand or at the very least, make sure it's vase mountable but no, you might need to shell out some extra cash for a monitor stand. Our example here has 240 hertz refresh rate, one millisecond response time, and of course it's FreeSync and G-Sync compatible with adaptive sync technology. And it even has a 99% sRGB color gamut and comes with a fully adjustable monitor stand and all the hardware needed for VESA mounting right in the box. That brings us to IPS panels, which are the choice for professionals who need accurate colors and rich blacks from any angle. If you want to use one for gaming, expect to pay a little more for the same specs you could be getting with a TN panel. Also, be wary of that backlight glow effect. Make sure to look up reviews or check the monitor out for yourself to make sure it doesn't have this issue. Put up an all black screen and check the monitor from different angles to see if any backlight is leaking through. As you can see, our Viotech Reaper passed this test while the other monitor did not. And last but certainly not least, we have the jack of all trades, the VA panel. It has good pros like the IPS panel with deep blacks and good color reproduction. However, most of these don't have fast response times. So if you're really good at competitive games, you might notice input lag coming from one of these. However, if you do see a VA panel that you just have to have, like me with the SUW49 incher here, make sure that the monitor at least has G-Sync or FreeSync depending on what graphics card you have. All the monitors you see before you are from Biotech, so they come with adaptive sync, meaning they are both FreeSync and G-Sync compatible. They also come with cool extras like mounting hardware to make sure the monitor is basic compatible and a full suite of gaming features, my favorite being the Game Plus crosshairs. If this was helpful to you, let us know by hitting that like button. And if you have any more questions about this or anything else, feel free to ask us down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.